Shani and I'm recovering from an eating disorder. Hi Shani. So it is, what time is it? 7.30. 7.30 p.m. And that's when I'm starting today's vlog. You're welcome. <laughs> I kind of took yesterday off uh, because I needed to. We'll talk about that later, but Danny got this. Okay, so if you don't know this already, Danny loves dark chocolate and I hate dark chocolate. Um, and he loves like darkest of dark. And my stepdad brought him something from a different country, I think. I don't know where it's from. I don't know where it's from, but how much, how much? This is 75% cocoa. 75. And it smells like death. Look at how dark that it is. It smells like butthole the, and it the, tastes the, like butthole. What the hell? It's not normal. It tastes like coffee. You hate coffee. Yeah, I know. This doesn't taste like coffee. This, this it does. Like awesome it has that same bitterness that coffee does. So anyway, it is just. You should try some. Disgu no. You mm -mm. need to try some. Nope. Mm -mm. No. I'll break your left mm -mm. little piece. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-mm. 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 I'm gonna throw up. I'm kind of nervous about this. Really good. Yeah. I'm, no already getting, I'm already getting sick. I'm already feeling sick. Good for you. No, no, no. Ah, ah. Ah. It tastes like if you were to eat ugh, an entire spoonful of just the cocoa powder. It's 100% cocoa. Oh, that's bad. Oh, no. So good. Oh, no. Oh, no. I want to know below in the comments below, do you prefer... White isn't in the mix, okay? So if white, white is your sucks. favorite, that's fine. It's one of my favorites too. White's terrible. But if you had to choose between dark chocolate and milk chocolate, what would you put? What would you choose? Put it in the comments below. Let's put another thing in there. Dark chocolate or ultra dark chocolate? Because there's a difference between that too. Let's pick dark chocolate or milk, and if you do pick dark, you can say if it's like, you like it super dark. We're about to play some Nintendo because that's all we do together. By the way, I just realized that I just posted a video for Beth and I didn't explain it for those who don't know Beth. So Beth is a member of our community. She's very active in the InstaFam um, and she battled cancer for a really, really long time. And unfortunately she passed away on Sunday um, and it really affected our community. So I just wanted to do a little video for her and her family and we miss her and we love her. She was the most positive light in the world. Um, she always had a smile on her face, no matter what she was going through, no matter how much pain she was in. And um, I feel like we were really lucky and blessed to have her spirit in our community because she taught us all a lot of patience and love and positivity and faith. So anyway, so that's Beth and we love her and we miss her and um, yeah, it's kind of rough. It's the first death we've had in this community of someone that we know. I mean, like people have lost their parents and stuff, but like this is the first one that we know this person. And if you want to check her out, I'll link her YouTube below. She would post videos about like cancer updates and treatment updates and every single video she's smiling and she's positive and she's amazing. So go check her out. I will put the link below. We love you, Beth. Okay, so Danny and I finished, but why is the little thing in the frame? What is the, what's happening? I'm not, just get, get used to it. I don't want to fix it. We played Nintendo together. We ate some dinner together. He went to bed and I went poop and now I'm about to paint. And I thought that I would try to attempt filming it. This isn't gonna go well, people. I don't have fancy filming equipment. I don't have tripods that will hold the camera above what I'm painting. So I'm just gonna do the best that I can and try and tell you what I'm doing as I do it and maybe, cause you guys have been begging me for painting videos and I just, I just don't have the filming equipment to make it good, but I'll do my best. So here we go. So, uh, for, those of you, so for those of you who don't know, I'm making paintings for my nieces and nephews for Christmas. They don't know, a couple of them know, um, but most of them don't know. And so I had all my siblings send me their favorite colors. So I made a little list. I wrote down their names and their colors and they just picked like either their favorite colors or the colors of their bedroom that they can hang it. So one of the ones that I need to do is turquoise and peach, which I've already done before. And so I'm gonna try and replicate this. Is that the right word? Duplicate, replicate? What's the difference? in my hair how long has that been in my hair 
Anyway, I'm gonna try and recreate this one. This I painted for my friend Carly. Hey girl, I love you. Uh, she hasn't picked it up yet, but like I've already signed it for her. So she sent me her favorite colors. Like she sent, she sent me like colors and shades and everything and it turned into this. So I'm gonna try and recreate it. Wish me luck. Here we go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is try and match the paint to the paint. So what I like to do is take out my cups. I do it at the counter because I have a bad back and the other table is really low down. So I like to come and mix my paint over here. It washes off really easy on whatever this is, our counters, like I spill all the time, but it comes right off. Um, so this is where I'm gonna mix my colors. For this style, I forget what the style is, but it took me, uh, I did six different colors. I did three shades of each, like three shades of peach and three shades of turquoise. Essentially, there was some like silver mixed in and some grays and stuff. So I'm gonna be pouring some water into these paints. Um, this is the easy way, easiest way that I've found to do it is to pour like half the bottle into the cup and then fill the other half with like a little bit of water so it loosens it up. You can use anything, you can use pouring medium, you can use soap, you can use anything, but I'm cheap and so I'm using water and that's what I did here and it turned out great. So, so then I just do this and it usually ends up being the perfect amount from one bottle and the water on the second half of pouring it makes it come out a lot easier. I'm not even five minutes in. Great. So I've decided to not match it perfectly to that because this is kind of more of like a coral peach and I mean it's still gonna be pretty close but like I want to do a couple different colors of peach so I'm just kind of using this as a guideline so now I've now I think I've got what I want to do in my head so I don't need to look at this anymore so that's why you're gonna see it disappear in the time lapse you're welcome Okay, so as you might be able to tell, just ignore this thing, okay? I'm not gonna fix, I don't care. So as you might not be, you might be able to tell, mixing the paint is what takes the longest. The actual painting itself takes like 30 seconds, but mixing the paint, matching the colors you want, getting the right colors you want, getting the right consistency, that's what takes so long. So I think I'm happy with what I have. I added a few other colors too. So let me just show you. So we're gonna start with this like, coralish peach a dark coral then we're gonna do this like regular peach in my opinion don't know if it's gonna show up like that and then this is like a lighter pinky peach okay and then I'm gonna do a little bit of ivory and then that's all gonna be on one cup I'll explain that in a minute and then this cup I'm gonna do this is the darkest one beautiful teal uh, and then this one is a little bit lighter of that beautiful teal and then this one has a little bit more green in it it's like a aqua teal and then this is pure metallic paint which is very expensive but as you can see on carly's painting that's what made do you see the silver shining 
See all that? How cool is that? So like just where the silver is, it's gonna shine like that, so. And then I also added a little bit of light gray. So what I'm gonna do, before I separate them, I need to put some silicone in them, and let me show you what that is. Okay, so these are cells. They kind of look like bubbles, kind of, double bubbles. And you look up close and it's like so freaking cool to see all that. And it looks like it's super hard to do, but it's really not. Um, so those are kind of smaller, or you can do, um, like this is one of my favorite paintings, by the way. Um, you can see there's some really large cells going on in here. Um, so what I have come to learn is that the more you mix it in, so like the more turns you do to mix it in, the smaller the cells. So if you barely mix it in, then you'll get really big cells like this. That from my experience. So, so I'm gonna put a drop no, I'm gonna put two drops in each color. Um, I've had this for months now and it's not even halfway gone. You don't need very much. So that's one thing that's not expensive when painting, the only thing. So I'm just gonna put a couple drops in each one and stir it. Okay, so now I'm make, gonna make two different cups full of paint. One is gonna be primarily blues and one's gonna be primarily peaches. And then you'll see what I do later. It's really, really cool. Okay, now comes the fun part, we get to go pour. So what I'm gonna do, I forget what it's called, but I'm just gonna do this, you'll see, and you'll see what happens from there. So, here we go.
it's basically the sunflower crunch um, salad bag like the pre-made stuff but I add grapes and fresh mozzarella and I also uh, thin down the sauce a little bit and then I save it because I'm not ready to eat it yet I'm just taking it up to my bedroom oh and then I put on wonton strips too and so this is what you call a really healthy salad full of bacon and sugar and and cheese and wonton strips so you are welcome <laughs>